It's time to finish the fucking flight. Okie dokie. It is the finito. Finito, finito. Time to do another project. <coughs> now you say that and wear a shirt, go fuck yourself, okay? I'm not wearing a shirt, it's bloody fucking hot. Wow, well, what time is it now? 3 10 pm. 5th of May 2017, Friday. May the force be with you. Mr. Seaman is good. Normally, when it comes to like putting things together, if, if a part a part of the mobile suit pops off quite easily, I will use super glue and you know, using super glue is very very difficult. You have to take the super glue out of the fridge because that's the best place to store super glue once it's been like opened up already, exposed to the atmosphere. You don't want it to dry up too fast or become encrusted because of oxygen mixing with that liquid it will turn it hard. So you put it inside the fridge to deactivate its ferocity of its uh, activeness therefore it won't like crust up too easily making the nozzle of that super glue useless i think i should buy a bra but bras are so expensive but anyway so i've done my best to do everything to i don't have a swivel thing and i'm too lazy to take the lazy susan from the kitchen So as usual, the configuration I left the same thing on the left of the the shroom galus is. Uh, on the left side of the shroom galus is the defensive part. sound just now there's uh, two videos that I always leave in my opera which I have about six open operas and each of them has like 10 uh, tabs so it's quite a lot of operas happening at the same time so two of them is uh, using the opening and the ending theme of my new video so I have them open up so I can put new <coughs> new songs to it oh, fuck. so fat I need to like wear a shirt now but it's okay because I have the Aircon on. I found out that uh, if I turn on the aircon, I'm more productive actually. Instead of being hot and humid, it's dry and cool inside the room. And now the sun is beating down on this particular side of the building, so it's kind of like warm. So using super glue is like very difficult, very unwieldy, and uh, if you give it a not a lot of knocks, it will definitely break off. But if you use a uh, cement like so, you just put a bit, okay, just that comes with a brush, careful with the brush. So you put a bit and it melty melty, then you put it together, leave it for two hours and <clears throat> it's similar to using a super glue. Well, not really, you're just boiling or not boiling, the. you're melting the plastic and uh, you push it together and it becomes one plastic. So that's the thing that I did with the face here. It was loose in the end, I mean, <clears throat> it was always loose, so I stuck, I melted it to the back of the head here, so it's now one piece, and uh, I also like uh, put cement on the piping here, to the face here, so it won't just come out easily, so it's like very hard together, and uh, Therefore, since it's already like one piece, it won't be able to uh, look left and look right because the this one is blocking the way. This thing here, it's not stuck to anything. It's just that it's one big piece. Maybe move a bit or a little bit on the left to the right. And maybe look up a bit, that's all. And look down just a bit. Not much at all. And you look at this configuration here, this little thing here, which is very, very special indeed. That's where you will stick these handles here, this handle which is what he's grabbing onto. They stick it between here and therefore it becomes this configuration. Of course before that you have to like separate the shields here. There are two shields here, you have to separate it out and uh, a lot of work. So it's bullshit actually. So there are many 
things that you can cement and put together to make it like a uh, no seam line at all like so this is like very unsightly but maybe uh, so it depends on you whether you like to do a lot of work on these kits or not <clears throat> I'm not painting it I'm not going to give it a what called matte finishing matte finishing that means putting some uh, spray some kind of like little lumps of, of particles onto the surface of the plastic because it looks the surface of the plastic is very very flat I've explained to you already the light when it goes when it shines on it it gets reflected back out because it's flat but once you put those particles the mat it will be not smooth it will be like little lumps of plastic everywhere therefore the light when it shines it shines onto it it's not dispersed evenly so it looks less plasticky less shiny more realistic and nicer but I'm not going to do that for this one because matte cans, the cans, uh, I think it's, I don't know what brand, it's Mr. Color brand, I'm not sure. They are expensive as fuck, it's about maybe 30, 45 ringgit. And one can can last you maybe 5 mobile suits, maybe. And it's going to be like uh, a lot of work to actually spray on this whole goddamn thing and it won't be even. You want it to be even, then you have to take out all the parts and spray the pass individually and not uh, d don't do it while this whole damn thing is one big piece here because there are areas which you will miss like the ones between the armpits and whatnot or nooks and crannies so you have to do a lot of work just to make it look less plasticky you can see already it's like plasticky you look at it it's shiny but once you put the mat it won't be shiny at all I hate stickers okay there's look at the stickers here it's coming out already it's coming out you can't do much about it unless you want to paint it I have half the paints inside this room as last night I took out the thinner and the bottles of Mr. Color so I it was very difficult to take out the Mr. Color you know after years of not not painting at all so it, it, you might have to damage some of your fingers let's hear uh, Tiara's tell you song <clears throat> so what was that what was I saying uh, yeah maybe or maybe not I'm going to paint this one the stilettos the red stilettos because the and also these things here these all these are stickers and this thing also the the cock the groin area is also one big piece of of a sticker the black sticker the gray sticker here it's kind of weird Underneath is the blue part, so a lot of uh, sticking to do, and uh, even the sleeves here is coming out already at the end. There, it's coming out. So shit. So panel lined it, of course. There's not many panel lines to to do. Heads, the head here, the sides there, and look at the the head. I mean, this one silver here. I painted it with the marker. From Japan or from the Daiso, which is five ringgit and forty cents, or five ringgit, five ringgit and thirty cents per item from Daiso. This is a platinum paint marker. I use this one. It's oil based, quite permanent. Don't use the permanent marker. Permanent marker sucks balls. Like the this one. Uh, where 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 are you? This one not to use. It comes out every time you you. This one like see Sharpie. It says permanent marker, metallic, sharpie, this is cuprum or copper color, sucks balls because it, it rubs off. There's one part that I painted it but uh, it's covered by this, there's one round thing here, it's covered by this armor so I thought it was exposed so it wasted effort. But then again I was using this stupid fucking sharpies which does not come out at all, I mean this uh, rub off when you touch it, don't use uh, sharpie for coloring. So let's take out this uh, backpack which is quite easy. You know when I was constructing this uh, Shroom Gallows, there was this very impressive movement around the torso. But uh, since they're putting all this armor onto this unit here, that impressive movement of the torso it has been hindered significantly like 95% to the tune of 95%. You look at the back of this uh, head here, I'm not going to pop it off from the from the neck or from the, the torso 
you can see there's silver there's some cooked room because of the sharpie and of course some silver around the pipings there so it's very hard to actually see it and uh, it's further made invisible by this backpack here but there are some individual uh, coloring here that I did and you can see there's a small little hole around this shoulder inner joint this round thing here that's because of the sharpie the one that can come out quite easily but uh, since it's in a nook and cranny or in, in an indenti, indenti, indentation it, in a hole in a crevice uh, it won't rub off easily at all so there's uh, three colors that I love to use the silver gold and copper copper you can't get it from Daiso there's no copper color so shit out of luck of course I can buy Mr. Color Hobby uh, bottles but uh, I had to use like brush and clean a brush with thinner a lot of work and uh, using a marker is much easier so, 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 finish and the markers from uh, Gundam you can buy the markers the permanent markers but the permanent markers are fucking expensive holy shit fucking expensive man so let's obscure the detail that I put on the hoses at the back of the head with this backpack here <coughs> that carries the the mines magnetic mines I think it's called I might be wrong don't quote me on that and the accessories is here the magnet thingies hey! hiya meh did I do anything wrong? that's not that's coconut oil scared the shit out of me I thought a ghost what do you want? I'm um, sorry, uh, how can I help you? Okay. I'm doing a video. Thank you. Hey, Saturday, I might not be able to help out. I'll be super busy or I've got five places to go. You're always like that one. Yes, I know. Sorry. So what's the thing? You your ice dinner? Tonight I'm going out. I do cover fashion every day. So, let's see the accessories. Uh, let's so, there's the weapons already been like uh, seen here. Spike shield, magnet anchor, chain main, what the fuck all these things are. There's, uh, maybe it's just weird English from the Japanese people, of course. This one I'm not sure what is it called. Uh, magnet anchor is called. So I wish it comes with a machine gun. Fucking hell! At least a revolver, but it doesn't come with anything at all. It's a like missed opportunity. And of course, this is called the um, chain main. Chain main is called. I'm not fucking kidding, man. This is what it's called. It's called the chain main. I don't think this is from because of the Chinese. Uh, because this is from. Where is this from? Daban model, yeah. It's from Daban model, not Bandai. It's not because the Chinese aren't able to like speak correct English, it's the Japanese who aren't able to speak. Wait, maybe it is the Chinese people who are fucking it up because these are Chinese, they are not Japanese. No idea. It's all Chinese, right? I think it's all Chinese. I don't read Chinese, but I think they do not copy verbatim of the manual of this Shum Galos from Bandai. So, it, the Chinese people, the Daban modelers, they try to like uh, try to give it a bit of English. Maybe the Bandai version, the original version, did not have any English names to the parts or the weapons. So they try to come up with it, and they fail spectacularly. Because I do not do not understand what the hell is a chain main. So this is quite cool. Painted it gold at, at the bottom, and uh, of course this is thicker, the orange one. I'm not gonna use this, I'm not gonna use any of the weapons here, the offensive weapons at all. So that's about it, there's nothing else to say. It looks very impressive, it's quite huge about this height, I think this is the size of my dick when it's elongated and huge. I think so. And that's about it. Finito. Hopefully you enjoyed it, give a like, give me some money through Patreon and fuck off. Sayonara, bye bye, I love you guys. Such a big dick!